Good morning and welcome to an all new Eye of the Tiger. I'm Emma Watson. And I'm Zach Delumgum. Last Friday, Homecoming Court was announced. Five boys and five girls were chosen from the senior class. For the boys, Drew Denny, Jack Lucia, Jet Ropke, Thomas Velez, and Zach Galumgum. For the girls, Imani Black, Caitlin Casey, Amelia Fritz, Riley Gustis, and Rachel Janice Hobbs. It's pretty exciting to be on homecoming court. I honestly wasn't expecting to be on court, so yeah. Exciting and nerve-wracking because I didn't know that someone like me would get nominated for homecoming court. Voting for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors will be on Wednesday. Seniors will be voted on Friday after the rally. Underclassmen royalty will be announced at the end of fourth period on Thursday. Senior King and Queen will be announced at the homecoming football game. And now we go to Joseph Bianchini with sports. Good morning and welcome to this Tuesday's edition of EOTSN. I'm Joseph Bianchini. On Friday, Roseville went to Antelope and were defeated 35 to 14. Going into halftime, Roseville kept the game tied at 14 all, but in the second half, Antelope's run game took over, scoring 21 unanswered. Karan Borders ended the game with 302 yards and five touchdowns on the ground. Both of Roseville's TDs came on the ground at the hands of Brandon Graydon and Andrew Lucero, and Blaine Kamaka also had an impressive game with seven and a half tackles, three of which were coming for losses. In other sports news, cross country participated in the CVC meet last Thursday, and Roseville had a pretty solid performance. In the Frost Soft Girls 3000 meter, Aubrey Dyke and Rebecca Brinkovin finished in third and fourth place, both with times in the 14 minute, 10 second range. Brianna Peterson finished 7th in the Varsity Girls 5,000 meter with a time of about 21 minutes and 21 seconds. Aragon Tyrenia finished 5th in the Boys Varsity 5,000 meter with a time of 18 minutes and 20 seconds. We had it, it was at Maidu, um, which is just a relatively flat course. The rest of our meets this year have been on like, they've been kind of farther away, like an hour away or whatever, and they're all kind of uh, hillier courses, so it's a, it's a little bit more tough on those, but this one was a nice flat course we were we were facing some of the people in our league like Wood Creek and Bella Vista and stuff like that oh yeah and I think we forgot someone Alex Behul finished in fourth place in the boys varsity 5,000 meter with a great time of 17 minutes and 13 seconds earning him the title of this week's EOTSN player of the week Alex he kind of carries our team uh, especially the varsity boys I mean not carries everyone else is we're all solid but Alex is at least a minute ahead of everyone else on the team so he, he really helps us out in a lot of placement and all that kind of stuff gets us those high placements finally let's look at this week's games girls golf have home matches against antelope and river valley today and tomorrow boys water polo are at home against el camino today and antelope on monday girls tennis are on the road this week going to bella vista today and wood creek on thursday girls volleyball are in sacramento for a match against intercom on wednesday and back at home for a match against wood creek on monday Football have their homecoming game this week on Friday against River Valley. We'll have more on that game on Friday's edition of EOTSN. And cross country are running in the Tom Lath Invitational this Saturday. And that's all on your home for Roseville High School sports, top plays, breakdowns, and more. I, the Tiger Sports Network, EOTSN. And now we go over to entertainment. Thanks, Joseph. Sincerely, Control was released last Friday, and I'm not disappointed in the least. Youngboy Never Broke Again dropped yet another classic album that has a similar effect to his other projects. He makes tracks that are slow burners and make you love them more and more over time. Honestly, I've had the album on repeat since the release, and the enjoyment with each track just grows more and more as I listen. The first five songs set the precedent for Sincerely Control. The first song, Bad Morning, arguably encapsulates Youngboy's versatile sound into a single song. He showcases his ability to use vocal fluctuations and, uh, to his advantage and create a fresh sound. His use of flow switches, creative lyrics, and tailored production allow him to make a listening experience unique only to him. His abundance of aggression mixed with his heartfelt words are somewhat of a paradox. His harsh delivery of meaningful lyrics is quite a pleasant surprise. His versatility allows him to make music for any and everybody if you find the right tracks. Some great introductory tracks off the album are On My Side, Break or Make Me, and Hold Me Down. And don't forget, free top. In other entertainment news, a new animated Mario movie was announced for December of next year. The movie is going to be animated and will have voices of some huge actors like Chris Pratt as Mario, Charlie Day as Luigi, and Jack Black as Bowser. And we go back to news. Thanks, Nathan. Senior Assassin, a competitive tradition in which seniors eliminate their peers with water guns, has returned for its second year at Roseville High School. 
We go to Jacob Vielpondo with more on the story. On the first day of school this year, a group of senior students started their game of Senior Assassin. Each participant put in $3 and the winner will receive that money as a prize. Some assassins have started to discover that they can know when and where their target is going to be using their target's friends. Uh, no, I don't really have a strategy. I just like talk to people and like talk to their friends and try and get information on where they're going to be. Bodwall is currently leading Senior Assassin with seven kills and is trying to get three more in order to reach double digits. Uh, that's, what I'm, that's my goal. I'm also trying to get to like double digit kills, so like 10 is the goal right now, and if I can get more, that'll be better. Senior Chloe Bowers was in charge of gathering all the students and found that the most difficult part was getting everyone to agree on the rules. We made a Google form, people signed up, paid three dollars to join, and that's when we got started. The most difficult part of Senior Assassin was definitely setting the rules. The rules have been evolving because of what has happened throughout the game, and the Assassins have had to adapt to those changes. Um, for a while, it kind of went like on a dry, dry spell, but um, we kind of like thought about changing the rules a little bit to make it more, more places to kill, but. So now we used to have it to where you couldn't kill after like a practice, but now you can. With 24 people remaining in the game, Bodwell has done a few interesting things to get a kill. I mean, we pulled up on somebody with like a ski mask on. That was probably the craziest thing yet, honestly. That's it for us today on Eye of the Tiger. And remember, we're always on at eyeofthetigernews.com. See you next time.